Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully, hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or whatever you're doing out there. I'll tell you what, we are going to do our best to add to it every stinking time. Okay? Hey, I am back with a new one to the channel. This is an action roguelike called Bazorka. And we have the honor of playing as a witch on this nifty little broom. And we've got, uh, well, we've got shots and we can sprint on the broom and boost. And do all kinds of stuff. We've got a handy little amulet. And we are going to do our best to blast these bad guys. And see what we can see. And show this game off. I want to thank the dev of Bazorka for allowing me the chance to play the game on the channel and show this one off. So how about we do it? Why don't we do it? We'll uh, we'll have a good time playing this today, and uh, we'll see what we can see. Bazorka released the other day, and per usual, I will include the link in the description in case you want to check this one out. We're going to grab these apples because they turn into hearts. They're delicious. All right. So, we are collecting a certain type of gem. You'll see it at the top right there. Kind of looks like gold with a face on it. And what that's going to allow us to do is to open certain containers along the way. And those are going to allow us to power up in different ways. We just hope it's going to be enough. Now, I don't yet have any ulterior attacks. At least, I don't believe I do. Yeah, not yet. But we're going to find them along the way. Uh, this witch has kind of an ultimate capability. And then we have kind of a secondary attack as well. They're both on cooldown meters. And once we grab those, we'll show them off. They're kind of neat. The ultimate uh, capability has some flair to it. You know, I like that flair. Ooh, man. They're, uh, they're really hoarding up on us here. Okay. Let's grab this. All right, there's one of the chests right there. We got to get rid of this horde, though, first. Okay, we've got a broom ability. Let's do it. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I lied. We were charging up the broom ability. Apparently, you do come in with it. I thought we had to grab that first. All right, bone needle increases the power dash attack. Beautiful. Uh, wool Scarf creates a Stunner Whirlwind. Oh, that's cool. So that's just gonna surround us now? I like that. Increase attack power. Nice. Something good in here. Wind Gust. Strong Rush of Wind, okay. Oh! Now we've got a secondary. All right, now I think maybe you can achieve this by killing dudes in the circle, but there's nobody around us at the moment, so we're just we're just going to leave that for now. All right, beautiful. So we've got uh, a new basic attack. Uh, we don't have unlimited, though. I did a run before I turned the recorder on. Per usual, 
Just to make sure, uh, you know, I halfway understood the game. That way I'm not grasping at straws the entire time. Although maybe for some of you it would be fun to see me just be wrong over and over and over again. All right. It's a powerful uh, basic attack, this this bolt we've got. Let's see if we can grab more of it. Taking fire damage releases fire sparks. It's decent. I, I very much appreciate the ploppiness of those pumpkins. I think it's an appropriate explosion of pumpkin guts. All right. What is this swarm dance? Vast chaotic swarm of deadly bugs. Yes. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so that is our uh, additional attack now. That swarm of bugs. That is on the cool down there on the right mouse button. Now, I believe the game has uh, controller support. But today I am feeling the keyboard and mouse. Well, let's grab these. Perfect. Free Oko. Let's do it. Just a little bit of a helper, maybe? Accelerates recovery of stamina. All right. Creates a stunner. Oh, nice. Okay. So we've got two of those bad boys now. Let's go ahead and pop that off. It's like the bees that are angry. And they just get angrier and angrier as they sting. Anybody remember that segment in Tommy Boy? With the angry bees. I remember seeing that for the first time. What a film. Chris Farley. Too soon, man. Alright, chance to deal crit damage. That's perfect. Be a regular crit commander out here. Alright. We'll take a heart. Why not? Grow a healing tree after the death of a rescued companion. All right. That's something. Kind of taking my time here. All right, do we want to backtrack? Here we go. Chests are getting a little bit more expensive. Increases the power dash attack. All right, good deal. We're going to keep moving forward here. Great opportunity to use that with them stuck right in front. Ooh, another helper. Let's see what we got here. Another arc. Great. You know, we had some nice weather this weekend. We got over to the brother-in-law's. And, uh, you know, we went on a shopping trip. He and I like to go to Costco together. He's got the membership and, of course, lets me get in on it. What, what do we have here? What's going on here? Weird. All right. All right. We're just going to leave that. He's got the membership. And so, uh, you know, we, we did our mega trip 
And now I've got all kinds of ridiculous stuff. I love their nut butter. You know? It's like seven different nuts turned into butter. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna totally take that... Uh, I'm gonna steal that Tabasco commercial for a second here. I, I gotta tell you, I really, I literally, I put that shit on everything. I love it. I love it. So, I got three jars of nut butter. Holy moly. It's gonna last me a good while, but I, I love it. Um, so we finished up the trip and uh, you know, went back to his place and... Uh, he said, well, you know, we, we settled on burgers. You want to do burgers? I said, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do burgers. And he goes, well, problem is we're out of propane. I looked at him. I said, well, what, why is that a problem? He says, well, you know, we're going to have to use, uh, briquettes. I said, hey, man, I, I can't even tell you the last time I had a burger cooked on charcoal. That, that's wonderful. I mean, if you know, you know. You know, it's, it's just true. If you know, you know. Charcoal just gives just a wonderful taste to the food. It just, I, like, I don't care what it is. It's just better. I think it's just better. And maybe it's because I like smoked food. You know, I just like that, uh, that additional taste you get from it. So anyway, uh, we did burgers on the charcoal grill and my oh my what a time he couldn't have cooked them better you know uh we got it really really hot ripping hot and he was a little concerned at first that it was going to be tough to cook and and really get the cook right and i could see where he was coming from you know um they were perfect two minutes aside you should have seen the sear on these things. Just unreal. Now you bring them in, you run them through the garden, right? Sacrifice five runes. I don't think I want to sacrifice five runes. I'm pretty happy with the uh, passives that we have right now. So we're going to we're gonna maybe hold off on that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, brother. Okay. Well, ran the burger through the garden and, uh, you know. Oh, whoa. Whoa. You got the tomato going, you got the mayo going, okay? You got all kinds of stuff going, it was just wonderful. Let's get in here and just blast this guy with the special if we can. We'll get him with the angry bees because of course we will. We are running low on the hearts, I'm not loving that situation, but that's okay. Let's step on it, we'll get this broom going here. Oh, he looks like he's... Maybe. Oh, he's, he's dropping some kind of crap from the air, it appears. Oh no! That's not that's not great. Okay, can we get uh can we get maybe a redo? Maybe a quick uh you know, a little bit of a revive there? No, no, you can't. All right, well, let's, uh, you know, let, let's run it back. Let's take it for another another spin here to see if we can get through the old Whisper Grove. What do you think of this one? I, I think it's got a really nice art style. It uh, plays really smoothly. I'll say that, too, about it. Is this one that you're going to have on your radar screen? Let us know in the comments. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, this is another one of these things. Okay, yeah. So the guys have to drop the coins in the area is what it is. And that, uh, that unlocks like that. Less consumption of stamina for dashing. Should we try to do it? I don't have my angry bees anymore. Oh, maybe I didn't activate. All right, you know what? I'm out. I'm out.
Well, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got here. Copper pin, attract nearby useful items. All right. That was really close with that boss fight. Uh, maybe he was pissed off about the burgers. I don't know. I, mean, I understand it. He wasn't there. I was talking about the burgers. I get it. I get it. What can you say? All right, let's get our little uh, Oko here. I hope you folks had a couple great meals over the weekend, too. If it was nice by you, hopefully you either barbecued or you were in the vicinity of the barbecue smells. And we were talking about that, too. You know, I've been uh, jumping back on the bike a lot lately, just taking advantage of uh, the weather while you can. And my God, all the free smells in the neighborhood. You know, you go out there, you jump on the bike around, uh, you know, 5, 5.30, 6 p.m. local, right? It's just a buffet of free smells. Everybody's out there taking advantage of it. They got the grill going and, uh, ah, there's our swarm dance. Beautiful. The deadliest bugs. I really, really enjoy that about being outside. Years ago, I lived next to uh, a family that would grill skirt steak outside, right next door. You know, and then they'd turn around and make all kinds of delicious tacos. And I'd stand out there, you know, in the driveway. I'd come home from work and... Uh, uh, you know, just appreciating the smells that they were putting out in the air. Quickly killing five enemies with one spell heals half a heart. Wow. Wow, I'm here for that. That's nice. That's, that's a good upgrade. Yeah, and these folks were so nice uh, every once in a while. They'd go, here, come on over. Come on over. You know, give you a piece of the, the beef real quick here. Really, really kind folks. All right, uh, you know, this is another one of those deals where we've got to insert the coins while we're in the vicinity. I mean, I guess if the horde keeps coming, we we could, in, in theory. I kind of would like to see what, what it does. I have a feeling you do as well. Maybe we can activate a horde and lead them. All right, let's let's lead him back over here. I know I gotta touch it. All right, we got it to thirty-eight. We're getting closer. What do we have here? Oh, the ark. Yeah. All right, come on back over here. Come on, it's a party. All right, did we get it? Oh, we're so close. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we'll get it. There it is. Okay. What did it drop? Less consumption of stamina for dashing. All right. You know, now, in theory, that could drop any kind of uh, passive, but I don't know if that was worth the effort and lost hearts that resulted. Oh, boy. I wonder if maybe you gotta shoot those things before they spawn the crazy guys that we just fought against. That's probably has something to do with that. Happy to see that there.
Creates a stunner whirlwind. Oh, right, right. That's the uh, floaty shield around us. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that. That's nifty. Oh, those seem super strong, too. You know, I'll tell you, there are so many games that I'm going to have to get to this week. I mean, it's it's a, just a wonderful problem to have, but it, it was funny because one of the games that uh, you're going to see this week, I was taking a look at a trailer for it in the morning, and then hours later... The dev reached out and said, Hey, Goat, I saw your channel out there. It looks like our game would be, you know, a little bit up your alley. Do you want to give this a shot? I was like, oh my god. You must have heard me. You know, because I, I definitely was intrigued once I uh, watched the trailer. All right, take all those guys out. That worked great. Let's see what this is. Ooh, chance to find a phantom heart after killing an enemy. Like that. Let's grab this. We've got 219 pieces. Increases sprint speed. That'll be good for the boss, potentially. I'm just now realizing that uh, the bubble capability I had was was limited. I thought that took over our basic attack, but of course it's limited, just like the arc. That seems like something I should float down into, doesn't it? I mean, we, I feel like we have to do that, right? All right, let's do it. Let, let's see what happens. Okay. I just popped an achievement that said it doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Alright. Well, now we know. Is that one of those uh, F around and find out type things? I, I think it probably, it probably falls into that bucket. Oh, don't want to do that again. Alright, we got to figure out our way out of here. I like seeing those hearts pop off. We're backtracking a little bit here. Might as well open that up. Arc. Beautiful. Alright. I think this is the way. Let's grab Oko, we got 181. Increase the power dash attack, wonderful. We must be getting close, I'm just looking at the, the price of the chests and it's, it's absolutely climbing, like we can't afford this. All right. Are we like right on the precipice? I bet we are. Still have some arc left, which is nice. Yep, here we go. I'm not doing the sacrifice. All right, buddy. We're gonna try to bring it this time. We've got our mega attack. Let's go ahead and use that. Ooh, he's got a whirly too? Oh no. Well, it's not looking great. Oh, 
Let's go ahead and throw the angry bees at him for measure. Ow! Oh. It's hard. I think somebody's gonna have to get in there and get the weird look for me. Will it be you? Will you be jumping into Bazorka and avenging the goat and smashing this weird look? Now, each run, you do unlock new items to find in future journeys. So, yes, I'd classify it as more of a roguelike because we don't have, you know, that permanent type of progression as far as I've uh, seen so far. But you do have kind of the, hey, you're going to build knowledge along the way of the game and there's going to be some additional items you can find uh, around future runs. So... Folks, this is a game called Bazorka. I will include a link to it in the description of the video in case you want to jump on again and uh, check this one out. And I don't know, maybe take out a weird look for the goat, right? Let's do this again sometime soon out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, that's what we do every time. And uh, you know what else? We'll give away a video game once a week. How's that sound? You know how we can do that? You. Your support. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is where I say goodbye. And tell you to have a good rest of the day. And we'll see you again real soon. You take care out there.